Let's talk about forcing yourself to do things and giving small tasks a big meaning. It's very easy to begin to avoid the things that you need to do when you don't think they are significant or they don't mean enough to you. Sometimes it is simply very discouraging to do the same repetitive task over and over again or be trying things over and over again or doing some tasks that you don't think are meaningful and that are not moving you forward. And rightfully so, of course, we shouldn't feel energetic or motivated if the task really is worthless. Because then that means that you shouldn't be doing it at all. But however, if you know that that thing that you need to do is something that is worth doing, you need to increase the meaning that it has to you. That is because you want to get energetic, you want to get motivated, you want to get passionate about the little things, you want to get sparked up and fired up even when you do little simple tasks. If it means something to where you're going, if it's adding value to where you're headed, then it's extremely important after all. Even though you might be making those things very little and saying that it doesn't really mean anything and putting them down almost, that only effect that that really gives is that you start to feel less about doing it. And if it's something that you need to do anyway, then it's really important that you increase the meaning that it has to you, that you mentally prepare yourself and equip yourself with passion, with energy, through giving it higher purpose and higher meaning. What you really want to be looking for is a connection between the small little menial tasks that you maybe don't want to do because you don't feel motivated, you don't feel like it's going to move forward, it's not going to move you forward, and therefore you don't want to do it. You want to link that up with the higher purpose. You want to link it up with something that means something to you. You want to link it up with whatever dream or goal that you ultimately have. Something as simple as washing your own car can be highly enjoyed if it's part of maybe your whole image and the way that people perceive you and you see it as something that really impacts the way that people view you, their perception of you. However, if you think washing your car is just some boring old toss that everybody has to do and it sucks and it's not gonna get you anywhere and it doesn't help with anything, then of course you're not gonna wanna do it. Same goes with anything in your business, anything in your personal life. If you think, oh, this sucks, this doesn't get me anywhere, then of course that's exactly the self-fulfilling prophecy. That's how you approach it. You do a half-assed job at it and then it doesn't add anything at all. But if you give small things a higher purpose without tricking yourself, just seeing how it really relates to the ultimate picture, how does it relate to your vision or how you want to have people view you, how you want to view yourself. Sometimes people get very discouraged when they're trying to eat healthy and they think, oh wow, well this one meal doesn't mean anything and then they fall off track completely and they lose their diet that they're trying to hold on to, that they're trying to do and instead they just go off track and start eating a ton of food that they shouldn't be eating and it just all goes downhill. The way that you can avoid that is simply when that feeling pops up of, oh this is not meaningful, this is not helping me get anywhere, you gotta bring up that ultimate vision. You gotta bring up where am I going? Why am I doing this in the first place? What purpose does this have? in my life and in my journey and how is this really adding value to me? Now that's something to get excited about. That's something to get passionate and fired up about. You know, whether it's something huge or not even that big, it still means a lot more than if you just think, oh wow, no, this is worthless. If it even remotely relates to the bigger picture of things, your ultimate vision, then it's a lot easier to get it done and keep on getting it done consistently because you know where it's moving you. What I'd also like to add is that most of the time we completely underestimate the little things. We think that only, you know, those big breakthrough moments are really the ones that mean something. When in all reality, it is the little things adding up to those big moments that really make the vision complete, that really get you to where you want to be. It's that healthy eating on a consistent basis, not one or two days or a week or that one day where you overcame the urge. That doesn't mean anything if you don't do it consistently over time. And so this links very, very heavily to consistency. You gotta stay consistent if you know that there are tasks that you need to do regularly to move yourself forward in business, personal life, you know, in your finances, in your fitness, in your nutrition, whatever it is, you know, you gotta really make sure that how does this all add up? Where is this moving me? You gotta see that in your head. You gotta paint yourself the picture because otherwise when you approach the task, you will feel very unmotivated, tired and upset and angry about it and you won't wanna do it at all. On the other hand, if you can link this all up and see the bigger picture, it becomes a lot easier, it becomes a lot clearer, it has a lot more meaning and you feel better about doing it. So it's simple as that, but if you apply it, it can make a really big difference. 